Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically send a message in Microsoft Teams when a new row is added or updated in Google Sheets. Now let's say you run a business and you want every time a customer reports an issue, an alert message should be sent to your employees on Microsoft Teams. Now you have prepared a Google Sheets which records the details of such customers and you want every time a customer detail, detail gets added in that Google Sheets or a row gets added or updated in that Google Sheets, an alert message, a channel message should be sent to your employees on Microsoft Teams. So how will you do it? First you can go to Google Sheets, you can copy all the data, the customer details, come back to Microsoft Teams, compose a message enter all the customer details and send. However, this can be a time consuming and a repetitive process. So how about you try our Pabli smart way. Here we will integrate Google Sheets with Microsoft Teams all using Pabli Connect. So whenever a row gets added or updated in Google Sheets, a channel message would be sent on Microsoft Teams to your employees alerting them to take an action. And don't you worry, this entire automation process is so simple that it can even be done by a person of non-technical knowledge. You can find the workflows link below in the description box. Now come to my screen to see how we do it. To automatically send a channel message on Microsoft Teams, when a new row is added in Google Sheets, let us first go to Pabli's website. For that, we will write P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is Pabli.com. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, did you know if you will sign up for free, you will get 100 free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli connect. Okay, it's loading. On the top right, you can see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Google Sheets to Microsoft Teams. Create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens. Action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps. So let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a sale is made. An action can be send a confirmation message to the owner and customer. So in our case, a trigger can be when a row is added, a new row is added in Google Sheets. An action can be send a channel message in Microsoft Teams. So let us start. Now let us select, so let us select Google Sheets as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new or updated spreadsheet row. So what will happen is it will trigger when a new row is added in a Google Sheet or a row is updated in a Google Sheet. Okay, you can see a webhook URL here. A webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So let us copy this and now we will go to Google Sheets where we have to paste this. For that you can read the following steps, these instructions over here. Now let us go to our Google Sheets. Here it is and you can see I have prepared a Google Sheet with the name customer service one and here is the customer detail that is the customer's name, su demo sumo, then the customer's contact number, email and address. So now on the top, you can see extensions button, click there, come down to Pabli connect webhooks, initial setup, just paste the link and for the trigger column, we will select column D because it will trigger when the information is added in the column D. So now let us send test and it says test data sent successfully. Now let us come back to Pabli Connect's page and you can see it has captured the data, the name, the customer's name, demo sumo, the contact and the customer's email ID. 
then the customer's address all these details are here that means we have successfully integrated google sheets with pabbly connect now on to our final step that is the action step here we will select microsoft teams action event would be send message in a channel connect the two add new connection since i was already logged into my microsoft account i will not have to give my credentials again except okay now you can see the team names here it has auto fetched the team names these are the teams that i have created in my microsoft account i'll take you there now this is my microsoft teams account and on the left hand side you can see the teams as well as the channels so now i will select the team in which i want to send the message so i want to send the message to this team digital initiative public relations i want whenever a google sheet row is added or updated message should be sent in this team okay the channel is selected general now for the message let us frame it i will write hello team our customer now we will map the name here is the main name reported an issue kindly look into it further details are here for the contact details are here contact number now let us map it contact number then comma space and comma then email sorry wrong spelling yes email again let us map it here it is and the address customers address you can frame the message as per your need as per your requirement here is the address okay so we have mapped in also you must be thinking where are we getting this data from so let me take you the step 1 here where we connected pabbly with google sheets So you must have seen we cap probably captured this response when a new row was added there in the Google Sheets. You can see demo sumo, uh, the name of the customer, contact details, and so on. So Pabli has brought exactly the same data here that we have mapped in. And an important thing about mapping is that once you have mapped in the fields, these fields, from next time they will be automatically be updated. so what will happen is when a new customer reports an issue and their details get added in a google sheet so this box message box will automatically pick the new customer's name the contact details email id and address you will not have to manually write it or type in okay we are good to go so let us just save and send test request Okay you can see we have received the response So now let me take you to my Microsoft account to see if we have if the team has received this message so we, this team i had selected and you can see here hello team our customer the customer name that we mapped in has reported an issue kindly look into it further contact details are here the customers contact number email is here and the address details This means we have successfully integrated Google Sheets with Microsoft Teams all using Pabbly Connect. Also one more thing I would like to tell you here in the Google Sheets once you have established a connection pasted the uh, webhook URL and trigger column and send test after that make sure you click on the extensions button again come to Pabbly Connect to webhooks and last we initially we selected this initial setup now what you will do is you will just click on send on event so what will happen is as you add the new row it will capture pabbly will 
continue to capture the latest response all the responses as you add the new row so make sure you do this also a lot of customer asks us that if we will have to do this integration again so i would say no once you have established a connection between google sheets and microsoft teams using pabli connect that means once you have done this integration you are set to go you will not have to do it again i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com